Thank you so much for sticking to Y254 TV. I am Cheryl Blessing and you are watching the Power Talk Show. And before we took a break, we were having a very different conversation. We were talking about celibacy. Is it possible for it to be a way of life? Meanwhile, you can go on our platforms at Y254 to me, Lisa, do you think it's possible for you to live a sex-free life? Go on our platforms, let us know what you think about this and we will sample the comments later on. Kuna wenyo metuma and we will get into what they've said but I am being joined live on set by Joel and Hilda who have been giving me so many interesting insights about their opinion, why they're celibate and why they advocate for the lifestyle. Now the one major thing that we've talked about is it's a choice. You have to be intentional, you have to understand why you're doing it. It's something that comes from within but it's also rooted in uh, the understanding of God. It's rooted in some form of spirituality. So uh, we were talking about when you, there's a lot of peer pressure, there's a lot of misconceptions, and there's a lack of education, especially when we are younger about sex. We just told about the general things. This is the female reproductive system, male reproductive system. You're supposed to reproduce the end. We don't really talk about, we don't have sexual education, particularly in the Kenyan system. The schools don't teach us, our parents don't talk about it. So it's left upon mostly social media, the internet, our friends, our older siblings, our cousins, that's who we, we seek. And a major thing that has damaged society today, it, it has its benefits, but in terms of sexual uh, activity and all that, it has sort of damaged the idea social media people go on social media and you get all forms of information you get all forms of ideas hilda we were talking about how sex has been commercialized people do all sorts of things uh, that were probably unorthodox in the past but it's what has been normalized on social media so hilda how can we filter what we watch what we consume because it's in movies to mm -hmm. music at there is a lot of sex that has been uh, portrayed on these places. So how can we filter what we see, what we consume, so that we are able to consume things that lead us to the celibate way of living life, the right way, the righteous way of living life, mm -hmm. as opposed to the worldly way of doing things? I think the Bible is very clear when God says flee. The word mm -hmm. flee is very powerful. Like anything that has to do with something that will, you know, stir up that urge in you flee from it, yeah. run away from it. And it all boils down to self-identity. I believe in self-identity so much. Because if you don't know who you are and whose you are, by, by who you are, I mean, what, what are your boundaries? What do you like, you know? Yeah. What are the spaces you're supposed to, like, know yourself. And whose you are, do you know that you're a child of God? And if you're a child of God, are you doing things that are going to encourage you in life according to the word of God. So yeah. self-identity is very important because if you don't know who you are, it's very easy for you to be easily swayed. The Bible says in Romans 12 to do not conform to the patterns of this world. Social yeah. media is also a pattern. Yeah. Because if you conform to it, then you, you'll get lost. Yeah. So when you understand who you are as a person, your self-identity, then it's going to be very easy for you to say, you know what? I know this is what is happening on social media, but I choose to be different. Mm. Can you choose to be different every day? Can you choose that? If there is a page you're following and this page is stirring up your sexual urge, unfollow. Like, yeah. they're just simple things. Avoid. Avoid anything that is going to stir up your sexual urge. Yeah. Flee from it. The word is flee. Flee from anything, it. Yes. Flee. But sasa tu, ni kwambe tu ukweli. Tu sewe tu ukweli tu. Mimi say I've unfollowed, let's say, if I'm being <laughs> intentional about being celibate, yeah. Yeah. I've unfollowed all these pages that have all, the, uh, all that. Ninge mm -hmm. YouTube, In music video ileto ya pona ni ad. Mtu wana vizuri, a man, a woman, very sexually exposed. They've mm. been objectified. Because yeah. that's what happens in art these days. Ni skip your ad, ni seme mimi ata ni maneno za mungu na I go somewhere, ni pate something on TikTok. Yeah. And then it just tempts me. Because, you know, you, you've chosen intentionally to abstain. Mm -hmm. And Joel, you're talking about you, you were in a period where you're sexually active, then you chose the celibate life. Yeah. But what happens when you get into temptation and you even fall yeah. into temptation? Mm. By the way, club, I'm drunk. This babes is looking so fine. Mm. 
and something happens. So what happens after that? So actually, before, before we proceed with that, because it's a very good question, I, I just, you know, I'm looking back at who I was mm. before who I am now. Yeah. And as we said, like in life, we, are, we have those stages. Like Paul said that when I was a child, I yeah. used to speak like a child, I used to think like a child. But now that I'm a grown man, I've put away all childish things. Mm. So you cannot abstain or be celibate and remain like that because you, there's a vacuum. You, your body is a vacuum. You need to fill it with other things, other information. Uh, so like right now, everything has been sexualized, as you've said. You know, friends talk about sex, the media, everywhere, everything is sexualized. So when you decide to embark on the journey of celibacy, you have to replace. So you have to replace your friends. You have to replace the places you go to. You have to replace your playlists. You have to replace the pages you follow on social media. If you want to, you can even take a social media hiatus. And you can also do what, you can uh, just be very keen on what you feed because what you feed yourself, the inner you, is what you actually reproduce. Yeah. So uh, there's that issue, let's say, but now you've asked, what if someone has already fallen? Mm. God is merciful. He's a God of many chances, but yeah. it's not good for you to do it willfully. You say that God is merciful, yeah. so I'm going yeah. to. Because the victim, you're not hurting God, you're hurting yourself more. Wow. Mm -hmm. You're hurting yourself more. There's nothing that God is gaining <laughs> when you decide to be celibate. Yeah. It's for your own good. It's like maybe you have a cake. You want to give a small child their cake at a specific hour, maybe at tea break, but they cry they want the cake now. Yeah. At tea break, when everyone else is eating their cake, they'll be the ones who will be, who will be on the loose. They don't have. So mm. actually, I would say, number one, when you want to be celibate, search from within, because I said life is spiritual. It's not a, we are not talking English, by the way. Celibacy is not an English term. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's actually something that is very core in me, that is very core in me. It has helped me to achieve much. I was in the music industry. Uh, currently I'm waiting on God to hear because I'm led by God. I'm, I just didn't come. Before yeah. coming even to, to this show, I had to, to ask for direction, for guidance. Oh, for yeah. someone who does not good. engage spiritually, it sounds like story is a job. It sounds yeah. like something that does not make sense. <laughs> yeah. But actually it is real. Mm. The spiritual life exists and you can actually get divine answers to your questions. You can actually be led by God's voice into yeah. anything into anything. There are some places I just go and my spirit is like, mm -mm. Mm. I step out, yeah. you know. So you cannot still hang out in the places you used to hang out. You mm. cannot still. Do you know I had to delete and block over 200 contacts. Mm. I had to unfollow any, because you know now men go into IG and then you go to the search button and then you see some very curvaceous people there yeah. <laughs> and then you follow <laughs> all of them and I realized it was slavery because those ladies they get so much attention you are, you yeah. are, you, your compliment gets lost in <laughs> among the, the thousands, thousands of, of comments so I, I, I had to emancipate myself from, from that kind of slavery yeah. I had to just unfollow because you now need to unplug from the world system. The world yeah. system uh, is, is meant to actually jail you. You mm. think it's fun. That's just, uh, how can I, it's bait. Mm -hmm. It's actually bait. Uh, you, you see someone is advertising a product and then they, maybe it's a fashion house and there are many in Kenya right now who they intentionally make sure that some <laughs> certain the kind of ladies are here and mm. they look this way and they dance this way. And so it looks like marketing, and then later on, the, you as the viewer, you n that voice comes on, that picture plays back when you're sleeping. And someone was asking in the comments of Facebook that, you know, use the term self-pollination. I don't mm. know cross-pollination or whatever. <laughs> I think he meant masturbation. Yeah. And actually masturbation is so bad, it's so demonic, mm. and it, it makes you lose your identity as a human because before everyone else you're perfect yeah. <laughs> but you know you are seen <laughs> yeah. and god knows it oh. so um i was in such kind of addictions include not just fornication all that pornography yeah. for years mm. for years sometimes you you want to flee you want to hide mm. 
to just satisfy that that feeling because now someone that is addicted to sex they just want to get it off yeah. <laughs> they don't and care it's, how it's or with who or it's a trap yeah. it feels good at some point yeah. but as you continue doing it the body gets used to it. it's like a drug yeah demands for more yeah. and, demands and for i more. like that you said uh, when you were starting you have to fill that vacuum with something else. Yeah. If you take away the sex, you have to fill it with something. Yeah. Preferably fill it with God, the yeah. word of God, yeah. things that help you grow. Maybe even listen to like TED Talks and things TED that talks. motivate Sports. you. Wow. Sports, Gym. you know, music yeah. that is fulfilling as opposed to something that's a bit uh, on the opposite side. Yeah. Uh, g let me give you an example before we continue with this. I, uh, I was trying to get away from secular music. I got to a point where I was listening to it and I was like, mm? I'm not sure about that. <laughs> so, Ndioni Pate, the same kind of um, opposite, uh, good music, good quality yeah. music. Mm. It took a bit of a, a while. And it, it's something that people have still not mastered. Yeah. You know, you're exchanging the bad for the good. Mm. And you talked about masturbation. Yeah. People can argue and say, if I'm not having sex with someone, then <laughs> see, if I masturbate, then it's not as bad. Yeah. People justify it by saying that. Mm -hmm. Hilda, if let's say someone has, has decided to be abstinent, they have decided to be a virgin, but then they're like, so instead of sexually engaging with someone, mm -hmm. let me just masturbate, get off, and then move on. Because that's been advocated for some women who are away from it. Sex toys are being sold left, right, and center. And there are new ones coming up each and every day. And this are in the market because there's a need for that. There is something that is being sold to the masses. People are being told you don't have to be sexually active. You don't have to have multiple sex partners. You can please yourself. What do you say about that kind of living? There's something he said concerning purity. And he said purity is not just a physical part. Mm. You know, how is the posture of your heart, your mind? What are you even thinking? What are you feeding? Yeah. You know, when you understand that, because, um, you know, purity is not just about the physical part of it. At the, you know, we equate sex to the physical. You know, I've lost my virginity, so that's it. Yeah. There is the spiritual part of it, the emotional part of it. So when you engage in things like masturbation and pornography, that is going to affect you. Do you know it can affect you to a point where when you get married, you will not satisfy your wife or your husband mm. because you're used to satisfying yourself. It's, it's like, I call that demonic because to grab your mind, you know? Yeah. And most of the time you realize when you're idle, you go and hide. Mm. You want to feed that urge, you know? Yeah. And it becomes an addiction. And if you're not careful, then it's going to really be a threat in your life. Yeah, you so, can lose yourself. Yes. Mm. So it's not just about the sex and the physical part of it. Even that pornography, God is saying in his word that we should flee from these immoral acts. He's saying these people who are sexually immoral, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. <laughs> yeah. And he's warned us several times. So it includes that masturbation and, and that is bad. It's that bad. is very bad. And, and I like that you're agreeing because most people really don't understand the trap of sex. Mm. Once you've had ah. sex, you're like, oh my God, this is actually good. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's that one partner. Mm. Maybe it's because your emotions were there and you felt it. Then you keep looking for the same emotion in multiple people. Mm. And what Joel said, most likely the feeling is the same. It doesn't change. Mm. It doesn't become to do what. What you feel is what changes the whole experience. And from our comments, uh, we asked on social media, do you think it's possible for you to live a sex-free life? And we got a few comments of people saying yes with self-control, which they've echoed what we're talking about. But mm -hmm. And there's someone who even said, <laughs> but you yeah. know, I just have that urge. I just want to, you know, engage in sex. I mm. want to do this all the time. Joel. Because I think it was a young man who said that. Mm. And I assume perhaps it's because of peer pressure, what he consumes on social media, yeah. the kind of friends who he surrounds himself with, even the ladies. So what can you tell someone who thinks Damuyake ni moto, na haizi control? And what about the misconceptions of 
you being celibate? Is it because you're not normal? Is it because you don't have the urge? There was a time I was told, mm -hmm. what if you get married and the sex is trash? What happens? You know? And I want you us know. to get into that. You man in your sample before marriage. <laughs> before yeah. time, Iyishe. Mm. So, uh, Joel, just tell us briefly what you think about someone who can't control themselves because i think that's lack of self-control yeah what should they do about it and the misconceptions about celibacy so um what you believe is what you become i might assume you're a girl but maybe you believe something different mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. right now there's a grown man like me who believes they are they have the freedom to to express their sex you know or their choice of sex differently from what they appear. Yeah. So what you believe is what you become. If you're that kind of person who says, Akimini mjinga, every time you're like, yeah, I'm such yeah, a fool. Eventually yeah. you start operating like a fool because words are powerful. Yeah. Words are yeah. spiritual. Words create life. Everything that we see around us was spoken into existence. Someone had an idea of Y254 TV and yeah. they shared it in the boardroom and they said, yeah. I want, and in their picture they saw a setup like this. Even this yeah. power talk show was conceived in someone's mind. Yeah. But they just didn't start doing it. They had to consult the boss. They had to consult the colleagues. And they, they spoke a word. I want this show. To be. So what yeah. you say really matters. Carries weight. So if you say that you're, you have some hot blood, you say it, you believe it. That's what you become. Yeah. So it is important for us to change the words that we use mm -hmm. for ourselves and for our loves, loved ones. Even if you have a kid that is very stubborn or a sibling, don't start using negative words to say, ah, this guy is always, this child is always a fool. Yeah. And sometimes also to those that are watching us, if you're a teacher, please be very careful with the words that you use yeah. on your students. What you say is what you become. So I'd advise someone like that, kindly refresh the words you use. Mm -hmm. You might say, I think I have struggled with this, with this thing, but I believe if you guys, because we are here as a testament to show you that it's actually very possible yeah. to live in purity yeah. and you are 100% normal. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, there's just a scripture that I like, Matthew 9.29. Matthew 9.29, if you have your phone, you can Google it. See me in a sermon, it's God. Matthew 9.29, message translation. So just write uh, Matthew 9.29 MSB. It says, then he touched their eyes and said, because of your... Uh, bec um, because of your faith, it will happen. Message Bible says, become what you believe. So actually what you believe is what you become. And as we were sharing earlier, abstinence or celibacy is not to, to kazia you, is not to punish you. It's actually to help you achieve a higher purpose in life. Yeah. Let's say you're 20 years old and you've been wishing that by 25, I need to have this kind of job, this kind of career, I need to have um, a family. It will be dreams if you keep masturbating every night because the mm -hmm. energy that goes to jacking off once <laughs> and now you're doing it thrice in a day. How will you survive? How will you, when others are talking about the economic, <laughs> 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 the economics of the, of the state and everything, where will you get the energy to even discuss matters that are deeper yeah. in terms of, of life? So it is for your own good. No one uh, is a sex addict unless they admit. If you admit that I'm a sex, you become what you admit. Just yeah. start speaking positively and don't wear it as a badge of honor because that's where most people go wrong. You think that it's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. But actually, it's cooler to pursue a purpose. Yeah, and it's cooler to know yourself right. and to stand strong in your... Especially in this day and time, yeah. where the opposite is being promoted for you to stand and say, I'm celibate, mm -hmm. and this is what I advocate for. It's very cool. Now, uh, as we wind up uh, the conversation, you're now married, Hilda. Yes, I'm married. You wrote a book. I have a book here that's written uh, by Hilda. It's called Married a Virgin. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you wrote this book, it was because of your experience, because you felt the need to share yeah. what you've gone through, the journey and everything. How did you refrain from sex up until marriage? Because when you mesema, people will ask you, even, even your know. husband, I'm pretty sure he went through the same. Mm. I could like, no, 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 no. You have, to, you have to sample before you do something. There's a movie I love. It's called Jumping the Broom. And this girl decided to abstain from sex up until she got married. Then she met a wonderful man. 
they made the choice together and they actually got married and it was really good afterwards. So how can you advise someone who wants to pursue that way of life but they don't know how to? Ama hizo manja zinakuja bado. Because tuke meru kweli, kuna times enye maybe uko like, hey, uh -uh, I'm just thinking about maybe if I do this, maybe if I do that. Particularly maybe for Joel, we'll, we'll toss that to you because Hilda didn't have the experience mm -hmm. before. Yeah. So it was easier for you to, to stay yeah. away from it. Mm -hmm. But how was it? Was, was the marriage different? Did you feel like you're, okay, maybe I shouldn't ask this, but was the sex what you assumed it yeah. would have been mm -hmm. regardless of whether you had sex before or not? You know, during my singlehood and my dating days, I I cannot say it was a smooth ride. You know, a bed of roses and, you know, I'm this girl who is waiting. People think because I was married a virgin, I'm this church girl. You know, no mistakes. I'm, I'm not virgin, Mary. You know, yeah. I have made my mistakes even during that journey. I've entertained wrong people in the process. But I thank God, even during that moment, he held me. And I have come from a very... Um, strict background. My parents are very strict. And I say, I thank God for that. Because I'm imagining if I didn't have parents who are strict, maybe, just maybe, yeah. I would have messed up. So it was not an easy journey. And it got to a point where I, rea I realized who I am. And I told myself, you know what, I have to put these boundaries. Because I used to see a promised land ahead of me. And I admired marriage. Personally, I wanted to get married. Yeah. And I was like, can I enter marriage hall? Yeah. Can I enter marriage complete? Mm -hmm. I don't want to enter marriage for the other person to complete me. Let me come complete. Mm -hmm. So there was a season, I call it a wilderness season, where I was just minding my business. And I was like, you know what, let me work on Hilda. Yeah. Who is Hilda? What does Hilda love? What does Hilda like? What are the boundaries that Hilda has? So intentionality kicks in. Intentionality in your, you know, in our, in our dating days, we are busy exploring each other's bodies. We don't pay attention to... Do you know the values of this person? How do they even handle finances? How, how do they you know, do life? Yeah. We are ignoring that part. So there are things, I, I think we need to start teaching more of what should happen during our courtship and dating days. Yeah. So that people can learn how to maneuver that stage and now enter marriage hall. So it has, been, it, was, it has been quite a journey. And I thank God because for me, you know, there are so many people, if you dig deeper, they were married virgins, but they're quiet. Yeah. For me, it is a burden. And I was like, I cannot continue keeping quiet. And that is how somebody. I realized my purpose. Because I was like, there's that young girl who's growing up, that young boy who does not have knowledge. And Hosea 4, 6 says, my people perish due to lack, due of, to lack of knowledge. knowledge. So and I was I like, let me that. share this knowledge. I really love that because you, you are very assertive. Through the abstinence, mm. through the celibacy, you understood yourself what your boundaries are. And that's also what Joel is saying, because in that period, you really, really understand yourself. And uh, let me sample uh, some of the last comments you've shared on our platforms from uh, Facebook. We have uh, Pitia Nikupitia Sa Sail, I think, is watching live from Turgat Show Eco Honest. Thank you. And you look so nice. We have Willie Bazu, who's streaming from uh, Kitale in Birunda. Thank you. Mark Poldoski is saying, hello, Cheryl. The show is amazing, and you all look amazing as usual. Tuned in from Chuka. Thank you so much. Morio Ochi Amasema, it's possible. Bora when a positive mindset. Thank you for that. Julius Murega is tuned in from Nyeri Asanti. And we have Peter Msaks, who's watching live from Kerugoya, on the topic, for a short while, yes. As a way of life, hell no. <laughs> Ian Aroticha Mesema, no, because some people masturbate to satisfy themselves sexually. Then we have Dennis Nyongesa, feeling Jin. Uh, I think that's from the show before, but I love this conversation. Mm. I love even the, the engagement from our fans uh, because we've, we've gotten to understand. But as a parting shot, we've advocated for this way of life, the misconceptions about it, the people who still don't understand. So what would we advise them to do? Mm. So ladies first, Hilda, just give us uh, your parting mm. shot in maybe under 20 seconds. Natuna kupata wapi on our socials. Life is lived forward and understood backwards. I know it will not make sense during that period. But let me tell you, once you get to the promised land, you will look back and say, God, thank you. I pursued purity. Mm -hmm. So go for it. Yeah. And those that wait on the Lord, they don't wait in vain. That I can tell you for sure. Mm -hmm. So that is what I'm telling them right now. Yeah. You wait. Well, while you're in the waiting room, what are you doing while waiting? 
Yeah. That is important. Mm -hmm. My name is Hilda Lumati. I have a, a YouTube channel called Unfold with Spare. They should go and subscribe. And I've also authored a book, Married a Virgin. How can you find this book? Call me on 0739-77-9762. Thank you. Yes. I love that. <laughs> and Joel, just tell us very briefly, because time is really not on our side. Yeah. What would you tell a man who wants to pursue the celibate lifestyle, the chaste lifestyle, how to maintain, what are the goals that they can achieve, and maybe just something briefly. And where can we find you in your social platforms, Pia? So two things. Number one, sampling has its disadvantages, because for her, she wouldn't know what bad sex is, because she was... She was she experienced sex in marriage. So she would be satisfied with her husband forever. But for someone who's been around other people, after a while you develop different tests. Yeah. And now if you finally get into a marriage and your wife or your husband is not giving you what you experienced, don't measure your wife based on the standard of a freak yeah. out there. So just trust in God. Number two, what I want to tell people, despite all, maybe you went through all that and you want to be celibate, God does not condemn he corrects. The purpose of this show is not to show you that we are better than you. Yeah. It's not to, sh to show you that we are holier than thou. It's actually to show you that it's achievable and we are here to just correct because God loves you. He had you in mind when he created this show, especially this episode. Mm -hmm. And you can find me on Instagram and on threads. I wonder why people are join threads every day but they are not active there. Mm -hmm. At Joel Royalty Chikabi at Joel Royalty Chikabi. I'm also Thank on you. YouTube. We are mm -hmm. Visionary Youth Podcast. You can just check us out also on IG. Thank you. Yeah. I love that. I think it's a wonderful way to end the conversation. Yeah. Basically, I'd say self-control is very important. You need the Lord for that because it's a fruit of the Holy Spirit. And you have to know yourself. Don't get lost in the world today. Know yourself, know what you want, and make your choices based on that. That's it. We've had a very wonderful conversation. I think this, this should run longer, but unfortunately, time has lapsed. So we have to make space for other shows. So thank you so much for watching uh, Power Talk throughout, for engaging. And thank you to the entire team for making this a success. We'll see you guys next week. We are live every Thursday between 7 and 8 p.m. And you can find us on YouTube as well. We'll repeat this tomorrow between 1 and 2 p.m. So you can catch us then. Have a lovely evening and I'll see you guys next week.